Hey guys, Kelly Jones here. Um, I am sorry to say that I can't meet with you face to face today because I have to work um, at my my home school, Trinidad. Um, however, I still wanted to send you lots of art videos and let you know I'm thinking about you. So um, I have a couple videos for you today, um, and this one is about thinking about what you're thankful for and make it into some kind of an art project. So that being said, um, I'm going to swoosh this around really quick. So close your eyes if you get motion sick and show you kind of what I'm thankful for today. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Here we go. Swoosh. The magic swoosh. Okay. Who needs your all these wires, by the way? What are you doing, Miss Jones? Okay, so today we're going to think about what we are thankful for and try to make it into some kind of an art project, okay? This art project has a lot of freedom to do things that you want to do, whatever you feel, okay? So, in the past, um, like during COVID, when we were online, I, all the time, I decided to, to have my students do a project about what they're worried about, what stresses them out. And so here was my project about what I was worried about, what was stressing me out, what was on my mind. So I drew, you know, someone representing myself, you know, wearing my favorite colors with my hair and, you know, just drawing some of the things that are important to me and what I'm worried about. Um, and so, you know, at the time I was worried about, you know, staying six feet away and toilet paper being a shortage and hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes and masks. I was worried about how extreme and how much our two de uh, Democratic and Republican parties were fighting um, just worldwide. And I was worried about, you know, uh, at the time I was worried about the Black Lives Matter movement because um, my family lived in Chicago, some of my family. And they were just seeing so much rioting in the streets and gunshots. And, you know, I was worried about them. And then, you know, also we weren't supposed to go see our family and travel. And I was in New Mexico at the time and my family was in Colorado. So that represents the distance. Um, you know, I was worried about my school in general at the time. I loved, you know, my school, but I, I missed them and I was just worried about it. I was worried about my kids, those are my twins, um, having to be online for school all the time and how that was going to work with me teaching. Um, but I was also thinking about sunflowers a lot and how happy they make me and, and also, you know, um, my religious preferences and, and thinking about just putting it in God's hands. Um, but this... Um, was at the time, like I said, it was a project to show what I was worried about um, or thinking about, what was on my mind. And so what I'd like you guys to do is something similar, but this time I want you to do, what are you thankful for? And sometimes when we're doing artwork, we have to um, do some prep work. Like if you were going to write a draft for an essay to give you some ideas where to start. Sometimes you can just go with it with art. Sometimes art is just fun and messy and you just plop something down and it's fun. But for this one, I want you to kind of think about it. So start out by maybe making a list on a scratch piece of paper. What are you thankful for? What comes to mind that you're thankful for? You know, a lot of people say family, friends, if you're into sports, you might put your favorite sport that you're into. Um, I'm thankful for my staff and my students. I'm thankful for you know, having a house to live in and hot showers. I'm thankful for electricity. You know, just basic things, just food, water, you know, so there's basic things. But then what else am I thankful for? I'm, I'm just thankful for sunflowers. They make me so happy. 
just love setting goals. Um, and I'm thankful for my animals, especially my dogs, Gwen Stefan and Blake Shelton, and my chickens. And I have a salamander also. Um, so I'm thankful for my salamander. Um, what else? Oh, my favorite hobbies are art and music. So I'm really thankful for those because they make me so happy and, and relax and they're just, you know, they're just my happy thoughts. So art and music, I like chocolate, peanut butter, M&M's, I like coffee. I don't know. I might think of some other things um, further on. Um, so, uh, oh, and my school. I just say my school. And your school. And the ability to be your teacher. Being a teacher. Okay, you don't have to use, once you get your list, you don't have to use all of this in your art project. This is just a brainstorm. So, um, if I wanted to do something like this, but change it to be what I'm thankful about, I might put a person in the middle that's happy. And you don't have to be some amazing, fantastic artist to draw a person. It can be a stick figure if you want. Uh, no judgment. This is just fun. Um, you could even, honestly, you know, it might be funny or cute since Thanksgiving's coming. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, you might put a turkey here that's thinking about what they're thankful for. That would be kind of funny. So maybe I'll do that. So now, I'm going to think about my art project. I think, for mine, I'm going to put a turkey. And a turkey kind of looks like a bowling pin. Uh, their body, I guess. Same as chickens, really, from the front view. Now, you can start this however you want. If you're just, like, super thankful for Legos, draw the whole page Legos if you want. It's, it's whatever you want to do. But for mine, just to be silly, and because it's kind of a fun assignment, I'm going to draw myself a little turkey, a little cartoon turkey, maybe with precious moment size. Oh, what a happy little turkey. I'm going to make it a girl. <laughs> I'm going to give her maybe like a bow, just because I'm being silly. And being silly makes me happy. Oh. And she is thinking about how happy she is. But first she needs feathers, huh? I forgot about that. I think I'll do it like this. Because I don't want to take up the whole space with my turkey feathers. Right? It's kind of a waste of space. For my project. I love making turkey crafts for holidays. I think it's super fun. Lots of ways to do them. Okay, but first I'm going to make some feathers. You don't have to do it this way. You can do whatever you want in the middle. So that's why I'm not going slow because your middle could be a stick figure that looks like you. It's kind of, you know, up to your interpretation, and I'm excited about it. This project could be representative of you, right? Oh, she needs one more feather right there, I bet. If I have more room, I'll put more feathers. All right, there's my girl. She represents me. Let me give her some more just for fun. Thank you. Maybe I'll dress her up more later. Okay. She is going to be this person. And she's going to be thinking about all these things that she's grateful for. So, I'm going to put little bubbles that go bigger. And then make some clouds like that, okay? And again, you don't have to do this exactly that I, like I'm doing it. But I'm going to give myself some spaces to fill. Just so I don't get too carried away. And then I know where everything goes that I'm going to kind of give it a space, you know? And 
and it's also narrowing down what I want to talk about. Be a really big space right here. Okay. I'm going to put I'm thankful for dot dot dot. And then I'm going to maybe circle that in bubbles. All right. So you see how this is kind of like my, what I'm worried about. I'm thinking about those things. Now it's what I'm thankful for. Okay. So I have to pick six things on here. Six things that I think would look the best as art or six of my favorite things. It's up to you. You could just put, if you have six family members and you're thankful for them, you could just draw your stick person in the middle that's you and your six family members around you. But for me, I think I'm going to stick with, I don't want to pick, you don't have to pick these. I'm just kind of brainstorming. Sunflowers. Coffee. Oh, you know what? Instead of wasting a whole area on coffee, I might pretend that she has like a wing that's holding some coffee. There we go. <laughs> we could call it Star Box. Get it? Star Box. <laughs> I don't know how you spell that. Star Bo Box. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. It's corny. It's fine. Okay, so I don't really need this one. This one doesn't count. I think I definitely want to do art and music. Um, I want to do hot showers because really that's so relaxing to me is to take a nice hot shower. It's almost like it's washing all of the anything that you were sad or anxious about down the drain. That's how I like to think about it. So I like hot showers. One, two, three, four. I bet you most of my high school students would say sleep. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do something that represents my family. Like I'll draw some little baby chickens that represent my kids or something. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I'll just draw my school, and that can include my staff and my students, and that I'm a teacher. So that will include a lot. And I included animals because I already put a chicken in there, right? So, so I'm going to do this. There. It looks like it's steamy with goodness. Okay. So, family. I'm going to start with family. So, maybe over here I'll draw. I live with my twins, Brady and Riley. They're in fifth grade. Um, and so, since they're girls, I'm going to give them bows. And then feathers. I want to make them look the same since they're twins. Then I might do my boys. Make those a little smaller. And I'm going to put one coming. My boys are a little wild. So I'm going to put one sideways, maybe. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have one hanging from an aerial soap. Because that just sounds like something crazy my kiddos would like to do. So I'm going to do a chicken here, or a rooster, or a turkey. What holiday are we doing? What? <laughs> do one here. And then, so that's the my kids. And then I want to do my mom. And my husband, I think that my husband would like to be over here so by the kids. Maybe I'll give him a tie to represent that he's a dad. Not all dads wear ties, right? 
thoughts of your dad's probably were awesome. God, what nice. And my husband does too sometimes. I'm sure there's a cowboy hat in there. Okay, so that's my husband, my girls, my boys, and then my mom. Hope that they like her too. A bow, but she would also like to have a bow. Mm, okay, so there's my family that I'm thankful for. Um, I think I will do a sunflower right here because I love sunflowers so much. They're just so bright and happy and stand out, you know? And when I'm, like, sad, if I ever see a sunflower, I just, you know, it cheers me up. Aw, look at that sunflower. Oh, it has a little ladybug on it. I just realized that. So, gave myself an idea of what a sunflower should look like. You know what? I should show you guys my... So, instead of a... Christmas tree, I put up a thankful tree, and it is covered in sunflowers. And I want to show you what it looks like. So I'll show you in a little bit what it looks like. Okay, so that's that. Thankful for sunflowers and my family. Hot showers. Maybe I'll draw. I'm going to leave this one. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to draw her right here. So I'm going to do my little turkey girl self oh you know what would be funny if we pretend my turkey girl is singing in the shower so that would be interesting I don't know do that and then we have her eyes closed And she's going to be singing in the shower. Because what are showers good for? Getting clean and singing. Because the acoustics are so good. Acoustics are just the way that the sound like reverberates and bounces off the walls. And bathrooms have great acoustics. So there's me, my turkey version of myself, and I'm singing in the shower, just enjoying myself. So I'm going to do water coming out, I'm so happy, hot water, so blessed to have the hot water, and then I'm going to do like steam coming up to show that it's hot. Oh yeah, oh, I'm going to give her a little loofah sponge to be washing herself with. Because turkeys take showers with loofah sponges, obviously. And she's singing, so I'm going to put some music notes. There we go. Alright, she's having a good time. Hot water, shower. Okay, for my list, hot shower check, family check, sunflower check. So I need art, music, school. Oh, coffee. Art, music, school. So I think I'm going to put my school here, maybe. Uh, how would I represent my whole school? In one picture. I guess I could kind of draw... I could draw, like, the football field. Or not the football field, like the bleachers by the football field. Not to say like that football is the most important thing there, but I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to put the T on the hill that we have a big white T made out of rocks on a hill by our football field. So I'm going to do that. And T for Trinidad. Maybe I'll say, go Miners! 
I know you guys are the demons, so you might put go demons and put like a little drawing of your demons, right? Or maybe make it black and yellow if that's something you're thankful for. And then I'm going to just put a bunch of stick figures. And this is going to represent my students and my staff and everybody that goes to Trinidad High School. Ooh, you know what? And they have a band, so maybe I'll put the band in there. A little stick figure playing the band. Instruments. Hope that looks like a saxophone. Maybe I'll do another person here playing something else, like a tuba that doesn't look like a tuba i tried um we have a lot of drummers so maybe we'll put two drummers yay music maybe we'll put some people down here with pom-poms those are my cheerleaders We'll put a little stick figure here with a pretty black football helmet. Uh -huh. <laughs> a stick figure football helmet is not that great. Sorry, but I'm trying. So that's their football helmets. <laughs> I'm horrible at drawing football helmets. And this one has the football. Yay! And then this is the crowd. And then up here, I'm going to put, whoop, here's the stairs. I'm going to put me right here in my little turkey self. And I'm going to put me singing the national anthem in the microphone. Yay, because that's fun to do. And I'm thankful that they let me do that. All right. This kind of represents my school. So I'm thankful for you guys, too. Maybe I'll put Demoles in here somewhere. I'm thankful for Maxwell too. I'm thankful for all the schools I've ever worked at. Okay, so my turkey's thinking about family, sunflowers, hot showers, school, and I need art and music. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's where I'll incorporate you. So this will be art and I'll be, um, oh yeah, my turkey needs to be like Bob Ross. You don't know who Bob Ross is. He's an awesome painter who did an, uh, painting shows online for a long time. He was actually in the military, so he's a veteran. But he was some kind of a drill sergeant, is my understanding. And so after he got out of the military, he didn't really want to be yelling anymore and so he decided to paint happy trees with a really calm voice on TV and teach people how to paint. I'm going to do a happy little shack right there. There we go. I gave my turkey an afro like Bob Ross because he had an epic curly hairdo that looked like an afro. Sometimes I dress like Bob Ross for Halloween. Even with a beard. Okay, so here's my alter ego turkey self. Kelly Bob Ross Jones. And we'll say that I'm teaching it online. I don't know if I can draw this very well. Try not to keyboard. CD Minds! I can't remember what your... I'm going to practice. See if I can remember what your demon looks like. Oh, I don't know if I just... It's like a running yellow... 
right? I'll have to look it up because I want it to look good. Let's see if you have your logo on your website. That I'll look up. Maybe. There we go. So uh, maybe I will draw. Your. Well, Des Moines guy. I knew he was running, but I had him or she uh, going the wrong direction. Okay. There we go. I'm so thankful for you guys because that means I still get to be an art teacher and that means a lot to me. I'll put a paint palette here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So now I have art. I have your school. Sunflowers, music, family, hot showers, coffee. I'm missing music. Well, not really, because there's music here and music here. Maybe I'll just do, I'll do music theater instead. I'm just going to draw a stage. So I love being in theater shows. Um, I've done shows at the Schuler Theater in Raton for so long, 10 or 11 years. And this year, or last Christmas, was my first show here in Trinidad at the Main Street Live Theater. And it was so fun. We did Sound of Music, and I got to be Maria, and my kids got to be um, the Von Trapp children. So it was super fun. And I would highly recommend getting involved with the theater if you have the chance because it's so fun. You just, you just make so many good friends and it's like a family because you spend so much time together and you just trust each other. You know, if you forget a line, you trust somebody else to help you remember it. And it's just so much fun to see live theater. I'm going to put a microphone here. I'm not in anything right now, but um, I know the Schuler's doing Christmas Carol right now, and Main Street is doing the Christmas Express. So those are some options for theater to go see, live theater near you. And I heard a rumor they might be doing an Annie this summer um, at Main Street Live, so that would be super fun. All right, so there we go. I'm thankful for music theater, art teaching in Des Moines, teaching at Trinidad, singing in, in the hot shower, um, sunflowers, and my family. That pretty much sums up life for me. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. So now you would just color it. Um, so. 
if you want, um, you can turn off this video and just, you know, color it how you like. Um, but I will also uh, stay on here to finish mine. I think markers or colored pencils would probably be good. Um, but you could also always use watercolor if you want. It's up to you. She's so cute. Starbucks. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like Starbucks would be orange if it was Starbucks, like chickens. So I'm going to make her have an orange cup. I wonder what flavors chickens would like. Silly, I don't know why I did that shape. Anywho. So I know we should be thankful all the time, but I'm so glad that we have the holiday of Thanksgiving for those who celebrate to just give us like a specific time each year to really sit down and think about all the things that you're thankful for. And again, it's really good to do that all the time. Think about things you're grateful for because it helps you focus on the positive, not the negative. So even if you're going through a tough time, if you focus on the things you're thankful for, it helps your brain look for more positive things instead of negative. And so it helps you to deal with things better in life may not make your circumstances better, but it might help you be able to deal with everyday stuff better. If you're thinking about what you're thankful for and all the things you do have. Because there's always somebody who has less, you know? So, um, sometimes it's a fun thing to keep a grateful journal or a gratitude journal and then every day. You just... Um, Write down one thing you're thankful for every day. And then, you know, if you get down in the dumps, you can look back at your journal and be like, but look at all these things that I am thankful for, you know? Even when you're having a really hard time. And it doesn't seem like you have anything to be thankful for. There usually is at least one thing. Friends, family, air that's clean, water that's clean. You know, sometimes you can listen to other people share what they're thankful for, and then you realize that you have things to be thankful for, right? Okay, so there she is. There I am in all of my chicken, I mean turkey glory. I'm so excited to decorate for the winter holidays and just, you know, change things up. My classroom um, at Trinidad is decked out in Harry Potter themed, so I can sort my students into houses with a sorting hat like on Harry Potter, if you've ever seen it. So I have four kitchen areas in my in my classroom, and they're Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. So, um, just so it's easier to communicate with people and they know what, um, who needs to go where, you know, or I know which, which kids need to clean up their mess, or, you know what I mean? So, um, anyway. It's usually decorated for Harry Potter, but we made a bunch of snowflakes and we decorated it for winter because we thought we were going to get a lot of snow. And then we ended up not getting a lot of snow. But, um, anyway, I can't wait. I'm excited to keep decorating. Okay, warning.
showing you. I'm going to sharpen this. It's loud. Oops. She said it cold. So right now we have a bunch of silly turkeys in our hallway and snowflakes because I decided we needed to decorate the hallway. And they're in my classroom too. So my classroom has been elfed with um, with like the movie Elf where he decorates the store like crazy with snowflakes. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like. So I have to make sure that I make my feathers orange every time so we know which one's me. Oh, that's not me. That's my mom. That's my mom. It's all right. I'll make her a little bit of a different color. I'm getting my turkeys confused. It happens to the best of us. So my mom will be that color. If my girls had a choice, they would be pink and purple turkeys. Well, that's like fuchsia or violet. So I mean, what is going on with the world? Okay. So that'll be Riley and this will be Rady. Uh -huh. okay. My husband had a choice. He'd probably be a blue and red turkey because those are his favorite color, I think. Why not? He's a patriotic turkey. Do you know the turkey was almost our state bird? Or not state bird. Um, uh, what was I meaning to say? Our national bird? You probably did know that. You guys are smart cookies. Okay, this will be me Wyatt up here flying around from the ceiling. And my other son down here next to grandma. Probably should have bought it. Didn't we? Green. My mom's favorite color is periwinkle. Just kind of like a purple. All right, there's my family. Oop, I'm going to outline that so that pops a little more. Ooh, I should outline these little guys too. Whoops. Okay. Oh, I forgot to color her loofah. That's what they call those little um, spongy things you use to wash yourself in the bath. Change the color to a deep. What am I even doing? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, sunflower. We're gonna do that one next. Easy peasy. Yellow and brown, right? Last time I did it, I made the background of the flower turquoise because that's my favorite color. Is that even brown? It's like a red color. Weird. This is not, oh, this is a turquoise color. Maybe this looks green. It's like a minty turquoise. There's a lot of different shades of turquoise and hues. Sometimes they're green, or more green. Sometimes they're more blue. That looks more green to me. I'm gonna go in and like add some blue on top to make it look a different shade. There's turquoise. Beautiful. Oh. Outline it. Um, okay, now we have Turkey Bob Ross Jones over here, so it needs to be orange again. Just kind of consistent 
Thankful for Turkey Bob Ross. If you're still watching, you're a trooper. Because your art shouldn't look like mine. It should look like whatever you're grateful for. Um, Turkey Bob Ross. One thing in a moment. Okay. And black. I am Des Moines yellow. Okay. So here's my yellow Des Moines team name on the computer. Brush, shack. Ooh, I should paint this. This is a good wooden color, like the paint palette color. Dress color. I'm almost done, guys. You guys probably finished long ago because you're awesome like that. But if not, it's all right. Bold purple mountains, mountains. Purple, beautiful. Oops, I need a couple more colors. Purple, purple. Okay. All right, there. I'm almost done. Ooh, you know what I just realized? I should, oops, not doing it, okay. I should write, outline this. Use dark blue because I want to just show up. What else I'm thankful for that I should have included that I didn't is just nature. I'm so thankful to be able to go outside here and just smell the fresh air and be close to nature. That is such a blessing too, because if you think about people who live like skyscrapers in the city, yeah, there's like parks, but it's not the same as being able to go outside and see a mesa on, you know, uh, the forest. So I'm thankful for that. Just nature in general. And camping and fishing and hiking and all that jazz. All right, last but not least, Trinidad school colors are blue and white. So since this represents my staff and students there and my job, I am going to make it blue. Mm, my stick figure um, football helmets. Not the best, but it's fine. Our band have these cool hats with, I think they've got a feather hanging out of them. And we're just going to draw the stick figures like with black clothes on, cheerleaders. Yay for stick figures taking up the art space here. Cheerleaders and all my students. Okay. Oop, I need to light up that football too. Oh yeah, and these instruments need to be yellow. And I need a brown football. Football. All right. Oops. 
perhaps I should do my shower and water. All right, what do you guys think? So before I did uh, what I'm worried about and stressed out from a couple years ago during COVID, and now this is what I'm thankful for. And I'm super excited about um, being able to share this with you guys. Wish I could be there in person today online so I can see what you guys put. But hopefully you really think about that and think about what you're thankful for. And maybe I'll get to see your projects later on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but I hope you have a fabulous, um, fabulous weekend, fabulous Veterans Day, a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving break coming up soon. And hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.